a large video file, a not so large video file. While file size isn't so much of an issue on your local machine, when it comes to getting those videos onto the internet, your upload speed can really hamper things. My upload speed, for example, is terrible. It usually takes an hour to upload around 200 megabytes. So sometimes I need to shrink my videos without losing video quality. And I do that through a program called Handbrake, which is free and is included in the video description below. In this example, I am going to compress a 970 megabyte file using the following settings in Handbrake. So I suggest that as I click on each of the tabs in the program, pause this video and note them down. There is no scientific or technical explanation as to why these settings are best that I can explain, because the honest answer is I don't know what these settings really mean. I make videos, but I'm not an expert on them. I've honed these settings through trial and error and making and uploading over 600 videos to YouTube. The format that this video will compress into is M4V, which YouTube will accept and this is a 720p HD video. Of course, there is some loss in video quality. It's not going to be as perfect as the original, but you can judge the results for yourselves in the link now showing on screen. Right, so those are the settings I use. I'm going to start the compression process now and I'll be back in a few minutes. And the compression process has just about finished, taking five minutes to compress a 25 minute video. And this is the damage that's been done to a 970 megabyte file. It's now been reduced to 132 meg, less than 15% of its original size. Of course, video compression is not an exact science, but we can safely say these settings will reduce your video size by around a fifth. As I said, watch the compressed video on YouTube now and judge for the quality yourself. Here is a little snippet. Thanks for watching, and if you have any advice on tweaking these settings, share in the comments section.